Hello everyone and welcome to today's video now. Today I'm going to be talking about week 2 matches for Overwatch League Season 5. Uh, this is still on the kickoff clash and well before I, actually before we get started just want to remind you like and subscribe it would really help me. So let's now get into the video and um, first have I guess we'll just have a look at the week 3 matches and here they are. There's a lot of matches on week 3. This is also the debut as well for the East region, so uh, in a couple days time we get to see the East uh, players, so Philly, Dragons, Charge, Valiant, Dynasty, uh, Spark, and is that one I'm missing? Who's the other one that I'm that I am missing? Hunters. I forgot about the Hunters I think. Yeah, whatever. Either way, uh, so those seven teams will be playing in the East region very, very soon. Um, but May 20th, obviously this is in my time, so this, so this is in, or in Australian time, so it's going to be a bit different um, if you're anywhere else. But here are the matches, basically. So first up is the East is the East teams play. So we've got the Fusion versus the Dragons, Charge versus Valiant, and Dynasty versus the Spark. Next is the West, Justice versus Paris. Uh, NYX Cell vs Mayhem and Fuel vs Toronto. Then Charge vs Hunters, Spark vs Dragons, and Valiant vs Dynasty. And then Outlaws vs Spitfire, Gladiators vs Shock, and Toronto vs Uprising. Then the Charge vs Fusion, Dynasty vs Hunters, and Spark vs Valiant. And then finally, ending up with the, with the uh, West region, Titans vs Rain, Dallas vs Paris, and Justice vs Uprising. Those are the matches for next week. Let's now have a look at the week two matches, and I have quite a lot of stuff to talk about. So I guess we'll first talk about the results, and then I'll and then I'll give like some thoughts, I guess, after it or midway if I'm talking about something, and then I'll go over to the standings. So, uh, for so the first one, it was a mayhem versus the Titans. It was a three 0 victory. I'm not surprised at all. Titans have looked horrible. Uh, during this, I mean, they had a very close game, as you can see, against the Uprising, but that's really bad all. Um, kind of ironic as well, actually, because the Titans, I think right before they were playing against the Mayhem, the Titans picked up Mira. Now, I don't know what role he's going to be playing. I think he might be playing tank. Or maybe, actually, I think he might be actually playing, I think he might be playing DPS for the team. It's very ironic that... <laughs> He lost to his form. I, I guess I, he lost against the team which he was about to play in. It was pretty ironic there. It's crazy to me that. Um, okay, so look. Okay, so it looks like they actually um, they play on the push. So they did push first, which is interesting. It's crazy to me that they the the Titans get any any meters completed, which is crazy. So I think Mayhem completed the map 140 meters, and Titans didn't even. In, didn't even have a chance. Uh, 3 2 for Dorado and 3 0 for Kings Row. Checkmate was your MVP. Next up, Shock versus Outlaws. It was a 3 1 victory for the Shock. Pretty surprising there. I feel like um, I def I still think that the Shock are uh, definitely tile contenders and I still have, I have a bit of high hopes for the Outlaws. I don't really say that that much, I'll be honest. Not because I hate the Outlaws, but because they haven't. Uh, they've been pretty inconsistent most, uh, sometimes, I mean, like, I, th like, I, especially maybe, like, in, I don't know, like, season one, they looked like actual, like, championship contenders, and then partly, uh, onto the season, they looked a bit weird, and a bit inconsistent. Um, this one might be exactly the same, we just have to wait and see. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the Shark have looked extremely well this whole time, they're still undefeated, which is great, and, um, they might be uh, early favorites of um, winning um, the title. Uh, so Finn got MVP, obviously the new support player, and um, the shock looked incredibly scary. And for the final day, um, the just the the Atlanta Rain versus the Washington Justice, and it was a Washington Justice three no uh, three zero uh, in the Atlanta Rain, which is surprising to me. Dorado, they looked. <laughs> I don't know what the hell happened to them, but I was like a tell three nil. Justice didn't. Justice basically obliterated them. It was a close end. I that can vote, but it wasn't enough. Um, Decay got MVP. I feel like the DPS have looked extremely well uh, for the Justice. Um, I don't know about the other roles. I don't know how Mag is going. I, I'll be honest. It's incredibly difficult for me to watch the, the, the um, 
for me to watch the West matches because they are incredibly early in the morning, like 5 a.m. in my time, so it's really difficult for me to um, uh, to watch them, but I try to my best, not really. I should probably start doing that. Um, but I'm probably maybe going to be watching some VODs, maybe when, <clears throat> maybe down to week 4, maybe? I don't know, we just have to wait and see there. But that's Washington Justice, any land terrain, all done. May 14th, London Spitfire versus the Boston Uprising, and I don't know how the hell the Spitfire won against the Uprising. It was 3-1, uh, the Uprising got the first map in the Colossia, and then it was just the Spitfire running over them. I mean, Midtown, they looked pretty good, 3-1, and then the Lijiang Tower, they just obliterated them 2-0. I don't know what the hell happened to the Uprising, Spark got MVP. Uh, I'm gonna guess Hardy probably literally just charged in, and somehow... <laughs> That somehow actually worked. Um, but I am incredibly surprised that a Spit 5 actually got the two wins. Um, the first one, I mean, the Titans, not that surprised. I mean, the Titans have looked really, really weak um, during the season. But, I mean, against the Uprising, which I thought they were uh, a midfield team, I think I put them, when I put them, like, 11th place, because I, I remember I changed them, like, at the very end of the, of the power rankings. Let me just have a look. I think I put them... Um, 11th place. I put them, so, they're 8th place in, so I put them at 8th place in NA and 12th place overall. I mean, that's definitely what they feel like. They definitely feel like a, a mid-pack team because they just, they lost to the Spitfire, but maybe even worse. I don't, I don't really know, but good job on the Spitfire. Good job. A very close game for the Dallas Fuel, uh, for the Dallas Fuel versus the, versus the LA Gladiators as it was a 3-2 victory for the Dallas Fuel. The first ever reverse sweep is all for the o for, on Overwatch 2. Great time to see. Uh, went all uh, went all the way down to the wire, and the Dallas Fuel came back on top. Just like I said, they looked very consistent. They lost. They got obliterated almost by the Outlaws. Um, they obliterated the Justice, and they just sneaked out a victory against the LA guy, um, the LA Gladiators. So, but I mean, look, they may come out on top. Um, in the kickoff clash playoffs, so maybe we just have to wait and see. That, but Hanbin did get MVP for that match. Vancouver Titans versus, versus the NYXL, and the Titans continues their dreadful season, dread, dreadful start for the season as the NYXL got their first win of the season. Uh, New Queen Street was incredibly close. Oh my God! Just meet like, I think that is if if I can um, <laughs> if my if my maths are correct, I think that's like. That's 13, isn't it? I think that's... No, I, I don't know. I, I don't think it's 13. Is it 13? I don't know. I can't math right now. <laughs> I can't be bo <laughs> I can't be bothered to math. 7. I'm dumb. <laughs> so, se so, the difference on qu New Queen Street, so the, so the meters, is 7. That's a that's that's incredible. I think that's the closest I, I think has ever been in push. Which basically shows of how, of how great push is compared to Assault. <laughs> um, but NYXL obliterated the Titans in the next three maps, and Yaki got MVP. Great job on the NYXL. Uh, good job, NYXL. Uh, Houston Outlaws versus the Florida Mayhem. A surprisingly close, ma uh, close match um, against the Outlaws and the Mayhem, but the Outlaws did come up on top 3-2. and two. Uh, once, uh, w once again, New Queen Street, one meter, one meter separating... The two teams. I bet that was a nail biter. Um, that, that, that just like I said, that just shows how great push is because anything can happen. It's like it's adrenaline. It's on your feet. So I think I think I having push as a game mode. It's a fantastic idea, and I love it. Um, but it went back and forth for the whole for the whole series, and the Houston Owls came out on top by one meter at New Queen Street. And Pelican got MVP. I mean, I did say the Outlaws were very, very. Well, probably could be really, really good. I was, I wasn't expecting Mayhem to, to, um, to, to um, push the Outlaws that far, um, in during this, uh, during that map. With or, sorry, during that match, I cannot speak. During that match, I'm very surprised that they pushed him that far. Uh, the San the San Francisco Shock versus the New York Excelsior, three one victory against the Shock. It was like, well, so I guess he had to wax out for the shock, so the shock won 3 1 fashion. Uh, obliterated them in New Queen Street, very close, pretty close in Dorado, very close to Owen King's Row as NYXL pulled that off. 
to make it 3-1, and Oasis was just an absolute cesspool. It was just obliterated. Um, and that, yeah, made the shock look extremely scary now uh, with this completely overhaul roster. They definitely added some great pieces um, into that team. And it's showing off. They're now undefeated as of right now uh, at the end of week two. And they're probably going to continue their streak, I'll be honest. But, I mean, their next match against the Gladiators, uh, maybe, I, 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 is it, actually, no. Uh, actually, I think it might be the second uh, match, which is going to be pretty difficult for them. I think the Outlaws was very difficult. Now the Gladiators might be really difficult for them. But proper, I mean, rookie, maybe rookie of the year. Actually, I should, I should say alarm rookie of the year because they renamed the award to uh, to uh, uh, commemorate Alarm, who sadly passed away. Um, but definitely rookie of the year for proper this uh, currently this season. And then finally... Um, for the final match, the Toronto Defiant versus the Paris Eternal, 3-0 uh, for the Toronto Defiant against the Paris Eternal. I mean, what the hell? I would love to see the Eternal and the Titans versus each other. That, I think that's going to be that's going to be like the new um, toilet bowl uh, match. Remember the Outlaws versus the Uprising? Like what? what like what season was that? I think it was like season three. Oh my god! Like season three, season four? Jesus Christ! That was such a that was such a match. I remember I watched the whole thing, I was wondering when the hell was going to end. It finally did, I think the Uprising got the win. I would love to see this match. This is going to be the Toilet Bowl Part 2, because both teams have been dreadful. Um, that's all I really have to say, they look absolutely dreadful. But the, but the Toronto Fire basically got a free win, good job on them. And Finale was the MVP, he's a DPS player, right? So, great job on Finale, I guess, I don't know. Is he? I actually don't know. I, th I I think he's a DPS player. If I if I'm ever crashly, let me just double check with, with my sources. Yes, he is a DPS player. So good job on him. Good job. Uh, you saw a bit of the standings, and here are the standings as of right now. So the San Francisco Shock are currently four nil, so they are four points to their name. And then in second place, we got the LA Gladiators with two points. Uh, so the Shock has a plus ten map differential. Gladiators have a, have a plus three map differential. Me a total of five teams that are tied for th for third place. Got the Atlanta Rain, Florida Mayhem, London Spitfire, Toronto Defiant, and the Washington Justice. All of them plus two map differential, two points. Um, the Mayhem is the only one who has a different map record, which is 2-2. Two, two. Uh, so they've won two and they've lost two. Uh, the, the only reason why they're up there is because of their map differential. That's the only, that's the only reason. Behind the five, who are tied for th for third, is the Houston Owls in eighth place, with a, uh, also with two, uh, um, uh, with a plus one map differential, uh, and the Dallas View is also there um, with a plus one map differential in ninth place. Tenth place, the Boston Uprising minus three map differential. NYXL and, and on eleventh place minus five map map differential. Pass Eternal, who else, who also got rid of Naga for some reason, and they added Wob. Who's, a DP, who's an American DPS player. I don't know why the hell they got rid of Naga, but they did for some stupid reason. Uh, they have a minus 8 map differential. And the Vancouver Titans has a minus 9 map, map, dif map differential in last place in 13th. Um, so, yeah, that's really about it. Forgot to mention, there was one more change that happened, um, uh, I guess, I mean, during the offseason, I guess, for the East region. And that is Guangzhou Charge. Uh, Farway 1987, he was rumored to be joining the team by Halo of Thoughts. He has officially joined the team as a flex support player. So they both have, so the team has Molly and Farway 1987 as their flex support. I don't know who the hell they're going to sub in, or maybe it's just going to be, uh, like how the Anawag Cell is going with, um, two flex support players. That's probably how they're going to do it right now, and, and, and if that is the case, then the charge might be a bit up on my power rankings. But we just have to wait and see there. Uh, but that is really about it for today's video. Obviously, this is the match. Oh, I should probably cover that. There we go. So this is so these are all the matches for week three, for May twentieth to May twenty second, or I think it should be. Uh, I think it's like May twenty first to twenty fourth. I might be wrong with that. Uh, but yeah, that is really about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys all next time in the next one. Goodbye.